Hi all, welcome to Azure Talks. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening from where you are joining me. Um, today's topic is all about the Microsoft Azure ID. So we are here to understand about the Microsoft Azure ID today. Uh, Microsoft recently renamed the Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Azure ID. Uh, now, all the identity and authorization related requests will land to your Azure ID. Okay. Uh, this enter ID, you cannot get this enter ID created with the help of your Gmail or Azure account. You have to have a separate tenancy from there. Over here, what I have done, I have created a Azure Talks on Microsoft.com as a tenancy. Within the tenancy, I have taken a free license for a month for the enter ID, uh, basically the PIM, uh, basically the PC licenses. So I will just show you what I'm trying to explain here. So if I go to the overview, you will see that the tenancy name is Azure Talks. The primary domain is Azure Talks on Microsoft.com. And the license which we have taken is Microsoft Enter ID P2. This means that privilege identity management, in case I'm setting up, it will be very easy for me to <coughs> get this done. Now, in case I want to make it favorite, very easy, just click on here. This will be listed in the favorite uh, uh, posture uh, like in favorite uh, uh, dashboard similarly if i'm always using uh, all the users or deleted users are using suffix sign and fixed name definitely you can list them as well similarly groups i will go and look for all groups so everything can be set up as a uh, favorite here and within that identity you will see <coughs> overview and then you have the uh, azure groups you have all the devices uh, with uh, singly signed in here uh, all the updates uh, related to the device whether it is compliant or non-compliant uh, it also shows you the bit locker keys okay uh, generally it is used for your uh, pc to uh, pcs uh, c drive d drive to lock it as an enterprise uh, uh, security point of view i mean basically if someone finds your laptop they can remove the hard disk and then actually gain, gain the access to the files. So that's not the case here when you have a bit locker. You have an application, all the corporate level uh, applications, app registrations and application uh, enter enterprise applications will be landed here. Okay, all the productions, uh, all the productions, productions related will be listed here. Identity protection, conditional access if I'm trying to favor or get it. Authentication methods, password reset, if I'm using it uh, very frequently, I can favorite them. Then the governance and compliances will be listed here. Governance, identity, governance, external identities will be listed here. Then you have a complete production suite which talks about identity protection, password reset, uh, activities, identity governance, okay? So basically what I'm trying to explain here is it has complete overview of your security posture. It also gives you the, uh, give the dashboard for the identity governance. So it gives you that how uh, identity governance can be set up, okay? So one member user account recently created you. If you want to create more, then this again will be created. Uh, similarly, access review, privilege identity management is in there. In case you want to set up a uh, workflow, there is a workflow, uh, uh, lifecycle workflow. Verified identity is also there. This verified identity is basically works with your uh, uh, with the with the congestion with your uh, setup you need to do the setup and once the setup is done you should be able to get started with your verified identity basically uh, to it enables the faster remote onboarding for more secure access for easy account recovery with a standalone based solution for an individual or an organization will work so you need to just configure it uh, and then register the decentralized active directory decentralized uh, ID, unique ID basically, and then verify the domain ownership. So this kind of features has been there already over here. And then you have the credential, uh, conditional access, credential, sorry, in case you want to set up the credential. Organization, set, organization settings also can be reviewed here. You have complete prof permission management, okay? This permission management is used for discover, uh, remediate, and monitor our multi-cloud permission risk. So you can have multi-cloud permissions like you have um, AWS, you can use your um, 
uh, AWS, GCP, Oracle, uh, OCI, all this can be bring under one roof. Similarly, we have the uh, global uh, secure access preview. This also comes with the dashboard. This also has uh, the global access permission for all your uh, security need. Okay. Again, you can have all the uh, intranet and internet set up over here. Private access can be set up here. Finally, we go to learn and support. This learn and support is basically in case you want to uh, have, if there is an issue which you want to see or diagnose, you can do it from here. It also gives you the Microsoft link where uh, it talks about the learn.microsoft.com uh, where you can find a lot of useful articles uh, to resolve your case. And also in case the issue is not been resolved and you're looking for greater support, like and support from the Microsoft, you can definitely contact me, contact with the uh, Microsoft support team while creating a new support incident. Thank you for being with me. Um, I really thank you for watching my channel Azure Talks. Uh, we will see you soon. Thank you very much. Do comment, like, and share amongst your peers. Thank you very much.